Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to another Coffee Ranch with Dano and Frank's cousin. Today we are drinking Joffrey's coffee. Pretty much the only coffee I'm going to drink while we're down here in Florida. Got something we got to talk about today. 93,277 pounds exactly has been recalled. Recalled. Probably some of your local restaurants in Pennsylvania, Ohio, and New York. Now this comes out of New York. It's called MF Meats. M is in mother, F is in father, I guess. I don't know. It's crazy, guys. More recalls. Uh, this one has to do with something with sea oil, like or seal oil that's apparently not allowed. People were complaining that meat has had a chemical taste to it. Chemical taste. It's not good, guys. It's really not. We need to pay attention to all this stuff. Uh, wanted to bring this out. A lot of people are leaving comments on this and I wanted to get to it as fast as possible but also give it a day or so to kind of do a little bit of research and it's true. It is true. We always like to make sure that we're only putting out factual information here on the channel and sadly it is guys. Sadly it is. Uh, restaurants have been notified. It was 93,277 pounds of beef, raw beef, and raw pork. And apparently, I guess the seal oil, either way, people were complaining that it had a chemical taste, which is not good. Now, I don't know if it's made some people sick, not really too sure, but uh, I'll tell you what, set my coffee down here for a second. It is unreal, guys, unreal. Just everything that's going on. Now, as most of you know, we're down here in Florida, so I'm trying to cover everything we can. I've been keeping an eye on the news. I've been keeping an eye on all of the comments on ever and everything like that. It's just, it's crazy how much this stuff is going on. Uh, we've gotten more comments on the Dollar Tree issue. Uh, people are saying that Dollar Tree, a lot of Dollar Trees are going to be going up to $1.75. Now, a lot of you are wanting my opinion on that. Uh, my opinion is, is Dollar Tree is going to lose a lot of business. Might be the end of Dollar Tree. I think they need to kind of kind of watch what they're doing with that because even when they went up to a dollar 25 a lot of people quit shopping there now with prices that have gone up in a lot of stores all around the country and all around the world it has kind of put dollar tree back in the light again even at a dollar 25 but if prices go up to a dollar 75 it's not worth it it's not worth it uh people will be stocking up on things as we can you know we always talk about stocking up on the sales as we see them mostly because a lot of these things are just too expensive otherwise. If you're new to the channel, I always say Kroger is the most expensive store to shop at where you can save the most money, mostly because of the deals and savings that you get. But back to the meat and the recalls. I thought we were doing good, guys. I thought we were doing pretty good with, uh, you know, not many recalls lately. We have had some expenditures, some expenditures on some recalls. There's been a lot of investigation going on with the lead, the the outrageous amount of lead that was in those Wanabana cinnamon packs and there's been an inv ongoing investigation of how that happened. I think, I think the USDA needs to take a closer look at some other things that are going on, like chemical tastes in meat. We, we have to question everything these days. We really do. Keep your heads on a swivel. Make sure, you know what, I mean, if, and I live in Ohio, so, you know, I want to make sure, I'm sure that all of these products have been pulled that have ordered from MF Foods. Like I said, M is in mother, F is in whatever you wanna use the F for, just not in the comments. But yeah, it's absolutely crazy guys, it really is. I just, I can't get over some of these different recalls and how they're able to slide through inspection and all this stuff, it's just, it, it really is. Uh, for more information on like the different lot codes uh, or expiration or use by dates if you're a restaurant owner, maybe a local owner and haven't heard this news yet I, I, Which I'm sure you have I'm sure notices have gone out everywhere Just making sure that everyone on our channel and beyond whoever watches this knows what is going on It is MF foods. That is the one being recalled for seal oil, which is not allowed It's uh, read that it's been not allowed. It's all over the news all over the news. You can google uh, probably just 
Google meat recall. That's what I did. And there's, there's just several, several different articles. USDA website has a whole thing about it. You know, if you want to read which ones, expiration dates, stuff like that. Now, from what I understand, uh, it's, it's pretty much all restaurant buyers. Now, I would still take a look at it because we know that these recalls have a tendency to expand in other things. Um, we want to make sure that it's not expanding out into the grocery stores. Not saying it has, okay? But it might be worth taking a look at and just looking at what meat maybe you have in your freezer, you know, what's going on because these recalls do have the tendency to expand out. Plus with all these other investigations going on, be a good idea to have another gander at some of that. I'll tell you what guys, for the most part, me and Jessica are enjoying our trip down here in Florida. I know uh, I've been getting a lot of questions of how our trip's been going. It's been going great. We got more videos coming out. Uh, make sure you check those out. Our fun videos, our exciting adventure, Adventures with Dan and Jess, come out every morning at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. So make sure you are subscribed to check those out. Uh, we've been having a blast. It's been a lot of fun, a lot of fun to get away, but I haven't forgotten keeping up on all the news not able to do any store reviews while we're down here uh, but we are going to bring some exciting entertainment as we go along i did just see a huge turtle which was pretty cool it was crossing the path it had to have been like a foot long the shell anyway and uh jessica ran out took some photos of it so might might add those into a video we have a fun video coming out tomorrow at the flower and garden festival of 2024 at epcot so you may want to check that out. It's pretty awesome, especially if you live close to Florida and you just want to see what some of the foods look like before you purchase them. We go over a lot of the new ones, so it's pretty awesome. Or if you're coming down to uh, around Disney World here, they uh, give you a good idea of what some of the foods, at least that we like. So anyway, yeah, I'd be asking around uh, some of the restaurants we eat now. You know, it is, they were only shipped to Ohio, Pennsylvania, and New York. Came out of New York, but the product was shipped all throughout New York. So, something we need to pay attention to, guys, I'll tell you. Like like some of us always say on here, keep your head on a swivel. Make sure you're always paying attention. Uh, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe down below as we keep you in the know of, of everything going on. Anything goes on, you know, that has to do with food and beyond, I mean been a lot of crazy recalls lately we're not even going to go into all the different recalls on cars that i've been seeing either there's been recalls on on toyotas fords hondas i mean lots and and not just small ones either like tens of thousands of cars so i know there was a big one on toyota just recently so you may want to i'm not sure what years i didn't look it up i don't drive a toyota uh but it's good to keep an eye on all these things guys it really is all these different things going on yeah, I mean, it's pretty crazy. And, and, you know, at least we know, at least the FDA, USDA is doing some investigating on some of this stuff going on because we really don't know. Is stuff being put into the food? We don't know. Are people messing around? Somebody left a comment. I'm not sure I didn't do any research on it, but somebody left a comment that part of that cheese thing, uh, the cheese recall that they had, was that somebody was stirring the cheese without, without, uh, without gloves, like dipping their whole arm in there. I'm not even sure which cheese recall that was. There's been so many. Now, the Rizzo Lopez cheeses, that could be from that one. I'm not sure. There was a huge recall on Lopez, uh, Rizzo Lopez foods, which is the cheese that you'll find in, like, different salad kits where they have, like, the cheese packets, different. Um, we, we covered this a few weeks ago, but all kinds of different, like, cheeses. And this dealt with restaurants as well, a lot of different restaurant cheeses, so... Hopefully they have gotten all of those out of their restaurants, but we got a new one, almost 100,000 pounds of raw beef and pork that's contaminated that, you know, need to make sure they throw in the trash. So if any viewers out here from Pennsylvania, Ohio, New York, and beyond, I would just be double checking on these some, check some of those codes, make sure that none of those codes are on your own beef at home. Because I'll tell you what, remember the Quaker recall, Quaker recall still ongoing. Quaker recall. We had the Cheerios and Quaker part of this uh, advanced growth chemical in, in wheat, right? And grains that is not allowed in the States, but it's allowed outside the States and then shipped in here. So, you know, I, <laughs> it's just one thing after another, guys. It really is. Um, but it's something we need to pay attention to. Everything going into our food, we need to make sure that uh, the foods that we are getting 
are safe are safe i didn't want to go too far off into the older recalls but if you go down a few videos we've done videos on all this stuff we went did videos on the cheerios which has never been recalled i don't know if there's an investigation before it starts getting pulled off the shelf i don't know but apparently uh there's all kinds of news articles on this if you'd like to look it up it's a uh, part of cheerios and quaker uh and and that i don't know if that's been recalled yet or not but it's getting a lot of getting a lot of traction now uh los angeles times or yeah los angeles times fox los angeles there's been a lot of uh local medias out in los angeles that that have been covering this so may want to look into that but anyway just wanted to have this quick little coffee rant with you guys uh having a good time but still keeping an eye on all of the news and everything else going around because can't let up for a minute on this stuff guys because you never know never know plus you know i always like looking because if there's anything going on down here in florida i want to make sure that uh we're not eating the wrong things but i gotta say for the most part down here around orlando the food has been pretty fantastic so uh and i always i look and check everything I, i'm one of those guys that dissect my hamburger even when it's served uh you know because you never know I'm, I'm one of them people i just I always look inside the hamburger i don't just start eating it right away there's two buns on top of that who knows what's underneath i don't want to get too graphic here but you know you just never know who do you trust who do you trust you can trust dano you can trust dano guys thank you so much for watching this video um i hope ever i'll probably have this out this afternoon for you wanted to get it out as quick as possible i knew about this a couple days ago but i wanted to like you guys know I don't want to put any false information out here. I want to make sure that it's 100% legit before we even talk about it. So I hope, hope nobody else is affected by this, but it's a huge recall and a huge hit to a lot of stores. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.